back again with more World Cup action, and we have EU versus Rodri Blutar. Um, Rodri is, I think, playing for Spain. I'm not sure which uh, country EU is playing for, but they both have some <laughs> fatter teams. Um, like EU's team is like semi stall. Maybe you could even yeah you could even consider it full stall. It's like mega scissor stall, which is super weird. And yeah, Rodri's team is like balanced bulky offense, more balance ish. Yeah, kind of looks like a team that we saw yesterday from Trosco's part. I think it's the same team. Um, I remember the sets. There was SD devastating Drake. A uh, guard shroom. It was a substitute toxic. Heatran. I don't remember if this was lead sheet. I think it was lead sheet. Sledge from Gigatron synthesis. The Lily was Scarf, I think. The Skarmory had spikes, if I recall correctly. The Chomper was her SD Rocks EQ and the Outrage here. Yeah. yeah, on this team, it's probably gonna be double Defog to keep uh, Rocks out. Then Dougie to trip stuff like Mawal. Uh, stuff like Hooper, that can be annoying. What else does Dougie trip? And then you have like. I assume you're gonna have Healable on Chansey or Mew. Um, keeps making the, uh, the Venus up play and the knockoff. It's definitely smart because you don't want to lose any items, but it's annoying because this can. Skull burn, but I guess it doesn't necessarily want to stay in with the Alamola. Gets the Heatron, and then if the Heatron. If this Mew isn't like Earth Power or something, he should already shot Volt Switch, so it's gonna be Volt Switch, Willow is uh, soft boiled and probably Defog. So I think he's gonna get a free sub here. Oh, he's gonna Magma Storm. Yeah, I can see him going for Magma Storm or Toxic. The thing is, the set is a bit annoying for the stall player, but if it doesn't have Taunt, it's. Like it just it basically needs a fifth move slot that it can't really put in. I don't think it can win with a stall. It's a bit annoying for the stall player, but it's not like it's gonna just break the stall team. He has rocks, okay. So I think he doesn't have the yeah, he doesn't have the same team. So this probably doesn't have sub, which means it's uh after it killed something it's gonna get trapped by Dougie. Uh, I could also see the other Mola. I don't know if Eos other Mola came out yet, if its item is confirmed. It came out yet, but I don't know if you know its item yet. Because if his album was a check button, that's gonna be uh, an option to get the Dougie in on the trend. Goes in the chomper to get the rough skin. And I guess he could have changed it up and be Scarf Chomper and Z move Lele on this one. I mean, if he's Scarf Lele, this is really bad in this matchup. Back in the trend, I don't think he will have HP eyes. He doesn't have leftovers. So this is probably Z move trend, wow. So this is a different team than the one from yesterday. So I could see Scarf Trump and then Shed Chill or Twisted Spoon Lily. Mm -hmm. He double earthquake, predicting what? Maybe predicting Rogue to go to top of Lily on the rocks. Not 100% sure, but yeah, he's gonna go Scizor, and there's the wheel wound, so there's some chip damage. Back into Landrus we go. So Scizor took a run of rocks, Landrus takes another run of rocks and poison chip. But yeah, Landrus gets up the rocks, so they're on both sides now. That's the Dagi Sash gets broken. Before you can get up the defog, so that's definitely nice for Rodri here. And White Queen was Isle of League started, so I did not notice this. So they're already on turn 11. And White Queen brought the stall team again that he also brought in the last game. Um, League has Zard Wipers, Dougie, we already saw that. He leads up with this type of Vini just so that the Thing can't wisp anything, and I think I think he went for knockoff turn one to get rid of the lefties. Goes Alma Mola, goes for protect. So I think he's just gonna go with PP stall thing. He has like four months with protect on his team, two months with pressure. The Q is like sub protect. 
Discharge. I assume he's going in madness or moonlist again. Maybe predicting white queen to double into the sable eye. Um, since both teams have left fatter teams, I think I can. It shouldn't be too hard to follow for you guys. Like when I switch between games. I know some people don't like it if I switch between games, but I want to get those games live for the Gen 7 ones at least. It's still not, uh, lefties knocked. Is that why I can Oko this, but it beats a 1 on 1? And is that why it's actually a huge threat? Because this team doesn't have a chancey. Five has did a good amount, and he gets the burn. Whew. But it's good for protect, breaking the solar beam, and we are basically live now. So I'm gonna catch up on these other turns. Duck to switch into Alan Waller, got poisoned, other one for wish. Yeah, I think the focus sash can basically get Kelly come back if you get the bush. So his scissor's gonna go back to full and I assume maybe he's gonna defa with his scissor here. Mega Evolves, he turns out. Alamola gets rid of the uh, Eviolites, which is really nice for Rodri. Chance he's gonna Astos or throw the Toxic and misses. I guess misses doesn't matter on the Skarmory. So we are basically live again in both games now. Goes for Healbell, getting rid of the uh, Landorus Poison, and there was another one Poison, the Alamola. My question is when do people start bringing like Stall the World Cup, because I actually want to see like... <laughs> I mean it's easier to narrate because it's just fat shit, but it's also kind of boring, it's boring as fuck to watch. And I mean it's in one way, you can say it's easy to narrate, but it's also hard to narrate because it's like tough to say something because nothing is really happening they're just switching between fat months and clicking recovery moves over and over again and stuff like that <laughs> in some of these matches at least not in every match so we did get that correct if you fire blasted that the would have taken like 80 or 90 i think more like 90. so he knocks off in case the skarmy stayed in And this time he stays in, but the Gigarin has absolutely nothing. So he's gonna try to Skull Burn. Oh, he goes for Wish. I thought he would try to Skull Burn this Venusaur. Because Rory doesn't have, like, doesn't have Heal Bell. And EU does have Heal Bell. But he gets the poison with the Venusaur. Uh, kind of reminds me of the yesterday's game when well, it was OB versus uh, Creator's Mana, where it also was Venusaur spamming Sludge Bomb and fishing for poison. So Mew gets the burn on this. Just gonna softball up, I assume. Or, yeah. And then he volt switches out. So I guess he decides to play with rocks on both sides. He doesn't want to default. Interesting. We'll see if that will benefit him. Also, will work out for him, basically. So he gets wish passing into Heatran and he doubles into Dark Trio. Ooh, God. So goodbye, Heatran, unless you. I think you already got knocked off earlier, did he? And you. Oh, he's Shed Shell! Holy fuck. I thought you I thought you already got knocked off and it was Z move because he kept his item. Like I knew that he still had his item, but I thought he was Z move because I thought he used knockoff. But I mixed it up. He used knockoff with his Alamomola and it was on the Venus sword, was not on the Heatran, so I mixed it up my bad. So that is really nice because like Rodri actually finally someone that's prepping for a stall. Like, stall with Dougie carrying Shutchill on his Heatran. Wow. I have here used that set on the ladder, but I'm really tired of using that set. I was hoping Dag would get banned. Um, I assume this is um, the ground Z move. I think he has used this team before. It's the Screech ground Z move one last week was Eternal. He did get rid of uh, Aloma Mola with this specific Dag. He said it has like rocks and this Tectonic Wrench is gonna kill the Clefable. Goodbye. So he gets the uh, opposing Dag in. I think we noticed the Sash from the last game of White Queen and White Queen wins this potential speeder. Yeah, that's a speeder. And uh, this is a free switch into Sableye. Actually, no. Sableye's at 45. That's too low. So I guess he's gonna go... F okay, he goes for rocks. He could have gone Curum there, but... He could have also gone for knockoff break in the Curum. I mean, Gigarin was the best move he had to hit the Sableye. I assume so that was a fine play. And I can see him knocking off here. Yeah, getting rid of... No, oh, he already got rid of the left with earlier. And what happened here? The Dougie earthquake into the Skarmory because of the Shed Shell. 
That's gonna be sort of the poison on the Alamomola. Well, you actually looking like he has a shot in this one. But yeah, Alamomola, Alamomola on both teams, like, eh. We're gonna be here for a while, wish pass and stuff. Regenerator. But at least there are hazards up, it's not like Telly was AVR where the game was like just switching around for like 1000 turns, 1500 turns. Remember when this was poisoned at 64, now it's back at full and not status anymore. Toxic Ruined Roost, what is the last slot? Spikes are default, I assume. Could also be counter, I'm not really sure. Yeah, this. I actually used the same thing. Like, my team is actually looking kind of similar. My team had a Heatran, a Lomomola, uh, I had Budo instead of Venusaur, and uh, I don't remember if I had a Garchomp as my Scarf. I think I had a Lando on this team. But I also was using um, Shetchel Heatran plus Wish Pass from Alamomola. Because, like, if you don't have Leftovers, you want Wish Pass so you can get your Heatran back healthy. I think I was using. Bandit or Scarf Boodle was switching between sets on that team. That was like early Sun and Moon, like a few months ago. So Zapdos has Toxic on his team. Interesting. That's definitely nice for White Queen. Um, yeah, it makes sense that he has Toxic on this because we have, you know, from the game that he played earlier, that he has Sub Protect Kyurem and he has like Protect on every Mon. Protect on like, uh, I think on these four Mons. And he gets a Discharge Para Classic. But if he defogs, at least the rocks are gone on both sides. But he just toxic again, nice play. Gotta give him that one. And in the other game, heal bell to get rid of the Alamola poison and the Mew poison. Will went into Mew. He's gonna Volt Switch, I assume. Because for Willowers, okay, okay. The Volt Switch is a good chunk. Oh, it was a crit. So he's gonna go into his own Alamo Mola or into the Mew, I don't know. But basically we're gonna be sitting here for a while. Yeah, I wanted to make like a thumbnail because I recorded like this one video. I record two videos where I have like three games in one video. My boy T. And yeah, I really by the way, I really appreciate the support guys. We had 900 subscribers earlier. And most of you guys will probably understand, like if you're newer to the channel, uh, welcome by the way, um, most of you will probably understand that my narration cannot always be on point because I pretty much try to get as many games as possible. But yeah. The only reason I decided to like do it again today and get as many games as possible is um, I assume tomorrow there's not going to be many games because it's Monday. So I'll be able to like record a lot of games and then upload them like not all today, some tomorrow, but I'll upload most of them today anyway. But okay, let's see. So you wish pass on the trend again. And this Alma Mola here. It's gonna try to knock off, but he's obviously not gonna allow that to get his Chatchill knocked off. But can go for a roost, so Stone Age doesn't do much. So he has Stone Age on the Landorus that is not Z move, unless he's double Z move. Um, did his Landorus show lefties? I don't think it did. So he goes into Zard, gets it in, it's a big threat. Yeah, he had to take rocks, but. Wow, he doubles out, predicting protect, I assume? Ooh, predicting the toxic fire play. And now you can defog. And. But he's rock set as a duck tree, which is not really reliable, especially on a stall team. What the fuck? That's so weird. So yeah, League's gonna try to play it like so that he doesn't get the rocket back up. So he taunts, he knows this is some weird Protect Roost, Substitute, Ice Cream Curum, Walled by Heatran special. So he sent out the Curum back. And the Saber, the Kitengus came out and just went to Zard and the Saber went for recover. It's basically only one turn that we missed here. Because I clicked to last turn and in this game... Lordy switches out, obviously he doesn't want to lose. His Shetchi, but loses his leftovers on his Alamola. Which is not the biggest deal because Burn got nerfed, but it's still a bit annoying. 
try to knock off the opposing ally on the leftovers if he didn't do that yet. And he's probably gonna throw up a wish here. And protect on a Dougie that goes for substitute, EU making plays. So I assume this is gonna be a Z move Dougie. And if it's the Screech set, it actually beats this Alamomola one on one. So yeah, it doesn't even break the subs because it's that it doesn't have scores, the knock wish toxic protect set, which um, I've seen quite a lot. And he doesn't waste the Z move. He doesn't even have to waste a Z move. Because he can just sub again here and keep a Z move and he can even keep a sub up. Not sure if it's worth it to like sub again. Gives the earth we can kill this. If he would come out of this with a sub. Um, I don't think he can touch Skarmory anyway, so I don't think there's a point in subbing and losing more health. Because Skarmory would come in and wound you anyway, I think. But yeah, he Roost, predicting a switch or protect. Which one goes for a knockoff, and I think he's gonna protect you. Yep, classic. He's trying to store the sun, and he goes for HBIs, they're not wasting um, Fire Blast PP, which is smart. And he's solar beams predicting the Alma Mola. And White Queen just recovers. And the sun is gonna be gone. Roost on the protect nice flex. He goes on the tang rose here. So he's gonna I already knocked off the lefties earlier. I think I said twice he's gonna knock off the left. When like he clearly knocked him off the first time already. Wait, Rotom Heat showing is the is there another game going on? Okay, so he decided to go for the substitute. We will see if that is benefits him. Yes, because he had to switch out anyway, so I don't know why he subbed again. And then he's gonna vault out, I assume. Is there like another game? Okay, that's a Gen 4 game. Yeah, that's fine. That's what I was talking about, Rotom Heat. Because uh, there's like one game, one or two days ago that I recorded, that was with Rotom Heat 2 in Gen 7. Yeah, so he can basically. I mean, Vault Switch, Mew, and, and U turn Scissor into Duck Trio. I can see the concept behind this team. That's pretty disgusting. If I would face this, I would get mad. <laughs> but yeah, still attempting to, like, he's like obviously scaring this out with the knockoff because he doesn't want to lose the Shed Shell, like I said earlier. And in this game, he went Hardlanders on a Discharge SD up. I think he's gonna protect here. No, he can. Yeah, that's the correct play, not protecting. Because if he has these again and the protect, you're screwed. And the Rolanders might die to poison you. So Allo is kind of low, but it still has regenerator. Um, he's gonna protect here, I assume, because it's White Queen. <laughs> and it's like he's using stalls, because, like, why, why, why would he not protect? This team's like. Protect on four months. I've mentioned this multiple times now. It does sack of the Alma Mola. He goes into Duck to get up rocks, but he sacks it basically. That was a bit risky by League. What if this had Stone Edge? But I guess he just predicted him to go for rocks. And maybe White King revealed his entire set in the game earlier versus the Psychic Mute dude, so I'm not sure. So if League knew the entire set, it obviously makes sense to stay in. But he's gonna protect or recover. I can see him going for recover here. And protect the next turn to start out the sun. And what happens in this game? You just go for Scald. Vino goes for Synthesis. Um, wish Pass happens into Chansey. No poison. Chansey back to full. Chansey can click a Seismic Toss here. Scarchamp is gonna give it a bit of rough skin damage. And. We are life again. What has happened here? He just protects first. I thought he might not protect because, yeah, I'm pretty sure that League wasn't going for the fire move there because the protect was obvious. And now he's gonna go for the fire move, and White Queen is just gonna go for recover. And after the sun runs out, he probably can live another fire blast. And yeah, Jammer is playing about three hours. The hype is the hype is really real. Good luck. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck. Let me pause it real quick. <coughs> Shit. It has a ton, he's gonna recover here. <coughs> okay, I don't have to pause it. I'm okay, guys. 
for a second I thought I can't breathe but I'm back <coughs> holy fuck how many more games besides the three now it's a Sunday so a lot <coughs> oh then no, oh never mind this is some ladder game this is not for World Cup yeah he obviously doesn't want to waste his fire blast especially if the sun is not out because <coughs> they only do around 50 in this without the sun but yeah, in this game makes him a chance he's gonna go for toxic but he switches out into Landris. I guess he picked off quick or it's D or something along this line. Double Lily comes in. Uh, Double Lily is kind of annoying. Yeah, I forgot that the chance he lost the Violet, so it makes sense that he switched out of the guard shop. <coughs> um, yeah, this is tough to switch into for EO. Especially with Rocks up. He didn't show Zemov yet, right? So I could see this being a Zemov mon. I mean, at first I thought the Garjan would be the Zemov mon, but this team is a bit different than the one yesterday used. Wow, this is a fast land race. <coughs> so he's obviously gonna switch out into Skarmory. But yeah, it's literally super low, so it's not gonna put in much more work. <laughs> not sure about this lander spread, maybe it's max HP max speed because I took the Moombas decently well <clears throat> yeah just playing saving off quick is the correct play in this game he switched out on the Sableye on the turn at the Curum Canal so he's gonna sub and it's Shenanigans with pressure are gonna start here, you already know. But he only has Ice Beam, so... The thing is, the Seedrin doesn't have lefties. If the Seedrin has lefties, it would be really nice for Leek here. Because he would basically get a lot of health back. But yeah, the is gonna end up with a sub versus the Seedrin, because... It has pressure, and the Seedrin is paralyzed, so yeah, that's the para. What's about to happen? And even if it didn't happen, he could have pressure stalled. He wants to protect to get more lefties. Oh boy. Oh, I think we lagged out. So he went for... He really went for roost. Wow. So he's really trying to stall it down. I don't know. So the top of Fini gets sacked off. So the rocks are here to stay. So it's actually... Looking bad for League. I think League loses to this Curum. If I'm being honest, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, not if I'm being honest, but just my analysis of this. I think in Sun you can't freeze, but like. He's forced to roost here, yeah, and it's looking pretty bleak. Um, Fire Blast, I don't think it would Oko. But I can still see White Queen potentially switching. Because this cube basically wins and you don't want to risk getting roasted by Fire Blast crit or something. I think he should live with non-crit. <coughs> so he goes in the land, um, Scissor on a Defog. So this does have Defog. I was just wondering if it would have Defog or Spike or something like along those lines. Toxic the Chansey. I mean he has Natural cube. I think he's just going to pivot back. Exactly. Get rid of the poison. Get the Alamola in. He's just going to go Venus or Skarmory. And yeah, this doesn't reveal the last move, it's his HP file, you see the earthquake, something like that. And in this game, you fire blast, he hits, and the Qum lives, and yeah, I think this Qum just wins the game. And White Queen won the battle, yeah, because the Tangles was at uh, 69, so he would have subbed on the Tangles, I don't think, I don't even know if he could have broken the sub, I don't think he could have, and then he could have protected and done his uh, Ruth shenanigans and stuff. And they had a trend die to rocks, and yeah, so White Queen picks up the win. This one over League, and damn, this team's really disgusting. The White Queen here. They brought it twice too. So he did <clears throat> just protect there. So he's gonna synthesis up. Okay, so I guess he just won play it a bit safer and just go for synthesis. When he's below 50%? Okay, now he's at 54. And the U turn plus burn is gonna bring this back to 70%. I think this is slightly in Eve's favor. 
No, I don't think he could have won the battle. <coughs> yeah, this is the only game going on at the moment. Uh, I really hope there's no other game starting at the moment. <laughs> Quite heartbreaking. He barely can do anything. He barely can do. I said can't do. I'm bored to death. <laughs> Is right or the nickname of the man? Oh yeah, uh, for Carlos, plenty to play later. It's gonna be hype too. Hopefully, no other games during that time. Cause I would love to record the Ricardo game just in one video and also the Jamet game. But it's Sunday, so you never know. Like people are just gonna spam games. <laughs> Watching games like that, I get food to you in under turns. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't have the shed chill on a train, this wouldn't take so long, but like. Uh, do you guys even watching Mon's game? I love doing that. I mean, I can't eat because I'm recording for you guys, so there's that. No one wants to hear my munch. I mean, I'm I'm drinking my video. Like you guys have to accept that. I think most of you are fine with that. But I'm not gonna eat. Ricardo was pushed to start it. Oh well, there goes my dream of having another video for. And Ricardo brought star. <laughs> no. What's this for? It's for World Cup, my man. Bushtrus got subbed in for Hector Hartmut for Team Canada. Ricardo is playing for Team Europe. He brought his nasty stall. <laughs> and Ricardo said stall is pretty like, stupid this gen. And like if you play it well, like a good player basically never loses with stall. That's what he says. Uh, unless he gets hexed, I think. But yeah, we will see. I think that's what he said, unless he gets hexed. Um, I, saw, I was expecting a different team from Ricardo, but I guess he didn't bring that. But it's fine, it's fine. I just, I'll just, I already got used to that we're gonna see stall in every fucking game, like. Or at least every second game. <laughs> like, this is like fat balance with semi stall, stall, and then there was like white queen's weird stall, and like Ricardo also brought stall, so another triple stall video thing. So Heatron is gonna go really, really low here, so it's gonna be tough to wish past this back up because it doesn't come in on much. I guess it could come in on a scissor if it wishes up in the air or on maybe voltage from you. How much did voltage from you do earlier? Um, seismic tosses this chomper, but the chomp is almost in range from rocks now. You use voltage. The 12 to the turn, I think. So it has a chance to live, but it's likely it can die also. Because 30% you know it's 12 at showdown. So he got up the rocks at least, that's something for Rory, so he has to use that to his advantage. The death rocks on the opposing side, not on his side. Oh, he lost the Alamola. When did that happen? I, pr I probably skipped turns or something. But yeah, Ricardo let off with the obvious uh, Sableye. Uh, this might be Volt Switch Mew, and he can Volt Switch out. Oh, he just was okay. He didn't even put bother to protect. And yeah, both get burned now. But we, the Mew's already lost its leftovers. And if you have a Ricardo, you either go for recover here, predicting like a volt switch, or you go for knockoff again. Um, you never will always peer because like you would give the Hedron flash fire boost. Though I don't think I would will always, at least. Okay, so we didn't miss anything here, so we can go back to this. And they also didn't make a play yet. And let me see how far next video is. Okay, next video the triple upload is gonna be up in 70 minutes. Cool, cool, cool. I mean. It will already up, be up when you see this, <laughs> obviously, because I'm recording this afterwards. Man, I, I, like, I, they didn't even give me time to make a thumbnail, it's kind of annoying. So it's Zemo of Landers, he gets it in a knockoff, like I said, he wasn't going for Willowis there with a turn in the back. And he's got to pivot into Heat Run in case he wanted to go for Willowis, but Ricardo, I don't think he was staying in there ever in case the, in case the Landers had substitute, right? So like if you sub stay in there it would be just a bad position. And I know Sync Ricardo runs whirlwind on his Skamri sometimes. Um to help with the like like Stall can adapt he said Stall can adapt to specific threats like sub SD land with Whirlwind Skamri. And yeah, Toxin was Warwick Adult started for World 
Uh, I don't think this is for World Cup. Wait, it might be for World Cup. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, hey, a game that ends before turn 200. I mean, they're all talking in there, so. Yeah, World Cup, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I didn't even know that this guy's in World Cup. Which team is he on? Latin Latin, maybe Latin America? I'm not sure at all. But yeah, thankfully, no stall in that game. Man, it's gonna be super tough to recall these games at once now. Basically, we're passing up the Mew, and he's gonna get rid of the. He didn't show Defog on Mew yet. Maybe he only has it on Scizor. Or uh, maybe he didn't even show it yet ever, and the only one that showed Defog was the Skarm. But he goes for Toxic after Magma Storming. Uh, it will be interesting to see if it's just Sub Toxic or if it's. Yeah, okay, it's Sub Toxic. So it probably doesn't have Taunt, so this is fine for Rakari. He gets up Rocks. He can uh, Soft Bolt one more time here. And he's um, still trapped, so he has to softball again. And in this game, um, it's either Scarf Grin or Scarf Coco. I think Scarf Grin. Uh, I assume he's gonna U turn here because no one stays in Volcarona turn 1 when it can win the game later on. The thing is, this is kind of bad for Toxin because if he goes for Gastron here. Oh, so Zila, Medichim gets a switch in, and Medichim mercs, like he doesn't have a Mew or anything to switch into Medichim, so this is a risky, like if he switches in, like, he's in a bad spot basically if the Grand U turns here. And I assume this just softballs up again, as... Finally, Magma Storm ended, so he could switch out with Chansey, and Toxapex dodges a Magma Storm, which is a bit annoying for Bush, Tush, definitely. Uh, he also get for, went for Solismic Toss early to break the Heatran's substitute. As the Mew finally shows Defog in th this game, um, I was about to say, like, he's probably gonna have Defog, or, like, either both or one of them. Mm, I mean, I said that earlier when the game began, but they never actually showed it, so I just had to say it again. He's gonna go into Chansey here, or Scizor. I guess he showed. No, he didn't show the last move yet, so I wouldn't have gone Scizor and risked the potential HP fighter. He probably doesn't have HP fire, but still. Necessarily risky. He goes for synthesis, still not revealing the last move, making EO guess still if this has HP fire. Uh, Skarmory can go for nothing really. Oh, he, wow, he let this get toxic. I mean, yeah, he has healer, but still, I didn't think he would let make that play. I thought he would just go scissor on this because scissor walls it and didn't lose anything from doing that. And this is just gonna roost up on the vault switch. Uh, so he's gonna go, I don't know, Allo, Chensi, scissor. Uh, I don't he has like a few options. He can also go land and try to get a box. Yeah, he can try to go land and get a box. So he make my storm. A check button activated. Uh, Duck Geo got rid of the trend. Trend didn't have a sub up. It has leftovers, so it didn't have Shatcha like in this other game from Rarity. So yeah, Ricardo already got rid of the trend. A check button packs into Ducky showing where it's disgusting. Mm mm. I mean, he doesn't really have put that many potential scarfers other than this Greninja. So yeah, you know, we got, I know you guys hear me a lot say that I think it's Scarf Gren, but I have to say it again, I think it's Scarf Gren this team too. He could be Ash Gren because it has priority, but then he just doesn't have a Scarfer. Like, Scarf Teeter is not a thing in Sun Moon, like... So he did switch out and he just made the Gunk Shot play turn 1. And I don't know why he made that play. Like, what does Gunk Shot cover? Does this cover anything specific? Not really sure. Goes with Tangles, doubles out predicting like the Ladi. Or the Soul Stealer maybe. And he goes for T-Punch, not wanting to... Obviously not wanting to HJK as... Ah, oh, Vorigadal dodges a Leech, which sucks. So I can see him going for Protect here to get the left leaves. But it doesn't really matter because Medicham kind of gets a kill here. As so long as... Unless he plays around this really well. Like, if he ice punches, I mean, first I think he's gonna protect, but after that, there might be a 50 50 thing between what he goes into. Like, if the Medicham would ice punch, or. I think HJK is a fine play. You figure out the lander set in case it comes in, like, you don't have to ice punch. 
So he goes to Dark Pool, then he's Ash Grin, so I guess he's not Scarf. That did 43, so that's definitely Specs Greninja. So he plays it safe, goes into Cliff Fable. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ricardo just wins this game. He's gonna go for Wish, or. Yeah, yeah, Wish is fine here. I agree with this play completely. So he Volt Switched on the Roost. Uh, so he went for Seismic Toss? No, he'll ball, okay. I mean, there was only one month status, I maybe would have waited a bit till another one got status before I would have wasted or uh, used up, not wasted, used up another heal ball. Because, like, now he gets something else poisoned again. Eh. And he finally sucks, I guess. I know, I think he might have been predicting a double, I wish, Derek. And the Tran, and. He said, alright, maybe he got caught by HP Fire. That the Venus I didn't reveal yet in a later turn. So the Mew is just gonna vault out here. As yeah, the Lele went down. And it's going kind of fast. Yeah, I'm not gonna go over all these turns. Because there's other games that I have to catch up on. Goes out back in a guard chomp. Um, did not reveal anything yet. I think it's scarf. Softball up back into Vino on the vault. Nice play by you, knowing that you would probably switch. Uh, roost, roost, roost. This doesn't have lefties anymore. He's gonna U turn a roost. But probably will roost there. So let's take the rough skin here, bullet punched. And he did switch out, still scouting for HP Fire. Yeah, this game is over, he wins. Back into Scissor, Roost up. Oh no, he didn't Roost, he U-turned. No, Duck Trio. Wait, what did he do? Tectonic Rage is gonna kill the Venu. And the other game is over, uh, EO6 out, wow. But it took forever. Wait, where, how did he get it in? Scissor U turn. Yeah, he got it in with U turn, never mind. It's SD Scissor, so it doesn't have default probably. Yeah, that one has to be roost. Now Skarmory can't touch this. And in this game, he gets in the Skarmory and he's gonna Toxic if he has it or Whirlwind. I mean, yeah, default first makes sense. But I knew that the Landers would set up there, so maybe he could have toxic. So he gets for counter. Yeah, this Landers is a threat. But if he just spams counter, he the Landers is gonna die to this uh, counter from the Skarmory. As he does make the correct play, gets rid of the Landers, which was the biggest threat. Now he goes to Pex the Skull, but it locks itself into. Goes for Dark Pulse, gets a free switch into Chansey slash Clawfable, which he doubles out into Taranta. Nice play. Uh, he can go for Protect to uh, Scout, but it locks itself into. I assume it's gonna be Band Tar. And in this game, he did go hard. He protected and he went Landris on a T-Punch. Whew, God. And I assume he just got up his rocks or U-turned. Why off quick? That didn't do too, too much. And the q -room can just go for I think Pick off the Landris, wow. I mean, he didn't have good switch-ins. Dita could have been potentially switching. Now he gets out the uh, Lari, so we didn't even miss that much there. So he did hard sack the Skami. Yeah, there was no point in protecting, actually, because it's Megatar, it's not Banta. This actually looks like a team I built, just with a difference mine. Mine was a bit weaker to Zadwai, he at least has a heat train. I mean Zadwai still goes in versus this team. But yeah, Duck Trio being Duck Trio and... Uh, if it's not Z-move... He might be Z-move, because otherwise I don't think he can Oko this. I mean, this is the only thing like he mainly needs Duggy for, I guess, so it makes sense to go to it here. Uh, so yeah, the Sizzle is just... I don't know why he's bullet punching, he should just SD to plus 6 first to do more damage. But yeah, he just let the Scum go down. Maybe the Scum was low on Roost. And yeah, you picks up the win. I actually, yeah, I don't know this team, but I know Rory's on the team Spain and he lost, which is... Uh, you know, not everyone can win, it's a bit sad, it's my neighborhood country. Like, Spain is like next to Germany, kind of. So, yeah, they still didn't make a move here. And in this game, we went to try on the Draco. And I think that's 
it's all the damage. I'm not really sure it could be Scarf. So it goes hard on the Tita. So I'm wondering if this is also a Mega Tita. It won't make sense, he doesn't have another potential Mega. Mega Tita actually looking like a threat. Hmm, I can see the Heatran maybe go for Toxic Off Power if it has that. The bush push time was really good. Yeah, it was Z move. Like, I think that was the main reason why you would go into it. And goodbye, Mega Titar. Dougie plus Z move showing why. Whew, broken combination. Arena Trap plus Z move. <laughs> Can we quick pan this? <laughs> did he use this so engine and he can, like, say that he doesn't like it again? Or did he just use it because he knows it's broken? Like, I can kind of agree that it's broken. Like, you can not really play around, especially with a jackpot. Like, your turn is gonna get trapped. And with Z move, you oh, cool specific mons. Uh, I assume you might have Screech too. You can just go Chansey, but I don't know if he needs the Dagi, but I guess he doesn't want to give him the Ash from, even though this even Ash probably won't win. So he switches out. I assume if it's Mega, it's gonna DD up. Yup. And he can D up again because Megatar is really bulky and it's gonna be able to chew any hit. Uh, I guess he can also just Ice Punch and Twit kill this. Because if he did this again, he might not be able to Oko this. So, like, plus one Ice Punch twice might do more. Obviously, does more than plus two Ice Punch once. If you know what I'm saying. And he's again, okay, okay. Get at the jack shit. But I was just thinking that you don't want to get in range from like Shuriken and stuff. Uh, not Shuriken, fake out. I think the Greninja was Scarf on the team, that's what I expect at least. Yeah, that's what I said multiple times. So yeah, so, yeah I get the DD, DD, I get the DD again because you have to outspeed the Gren. I'm actually not sure if you outspeed after two DDs. I bet you should be able to. So that Plex was a fine play, I left any hit. And he gets the region back and go to Chance. I guess, I guess this is a sack. This is a sack. And now he gets the Ash. So Chance he was actually... Hmm, I forgot that the Chance he was this low. But yeah, he gets to go Pex and recover here. Ice Punch Oko's a plus 2. Whoa. Okay, so I guess it was worse than if it Oko a plus 2. I wasn't sure if it did. But yeah, the most tanks are AV. I think that was AV2. Makes sen sense on this team. Okay, so those are the only two games going on at the moment. I mean, what, what the... I'm saying the only, like, if there's not much. Like, there's always multiple games going on. This is wild. <laughs> this man quit for a year. <laughs> Already has more wins than Oceania. Are they talking about Toxin? I mean, his game isn't over yet, but he's probably gonna win. Um, I assume this is gonna die to Stone Edge if if it connects. Uh, yeah, after two DDs, Mega Tita should outspeed Scarf Green, right? He just went to Pax, he's gonna recover here. I guess he was just thinking what his best play is, like thinking ahead and stuff. Maybe he was lagging, I don't know. Oh wow, Greninja is still faster. Maybe, is the Tita max speed? Because if the Tita is max speed... It's gonna hit 530 speed. Uh, 530 speed, let me open my calculator. So Tita hits 530 and this hits um, 377 times 1.5. Okay, so it hits 565. Wow. Scarf is actually faster. That's crazy. Uh, wild. 
But he has off quick, so he doesn't have to withstand each missing. Yeah, I'm sometimes run low kick on my scarf when Padlop has been laughing at me, and I know it's probably not that good, but it would have worked out in this situation. <laughs> but yeah, I'm probably gonna change that set. It's not like in most scenarios I don't really want low kick on scarf grin. Like you rather want ice beam, and I don't have ice beam on that set. I can understand, but Padlop, like I was discussing a little bit earlier with him, mm -mm -mm, like ice beam is nice for Zyga. That team that I had wasn't. It was a little bit weak to say, I only had Bulu as my check, I guess. And the offensive line, so not the best checks. So this not having Black Sludge... <coughs> yeah, the Ashkin can still win this game, it's not over. A flinch here and there. <coughs> I mean, not here and there, one flinch and this is dead. He's gonna recover up. And try to burn this. And in this game... He did get rid of the cure and the ice beamed. And he did this again. GG! <laughs> I mean, he would have left the U turn anyway. So I guess he was going for the freeze. So he didn't have Hydro Pump, I assume. Gunk Shot, I U turn Ice Beam, and then Rock Slide, I assume. Uh, why did he say sorry? I don't think that mattered. Don't sorry, what the fuck? <laughs> why did he say sorry, lol? <laughs> Oh, yeah, obviously it doesn't matter. Like, it's a plus to Mega Tyranitar. Like, the text that is probably sky high. Like, what? I don't know if he's like trolling. I hope he's not disrespecting his opponent. I don't think so. Not sure. Maybe he just said sorry just because. Like, he just crit. He doesn't care if it matters. He just said sorry for the crit, even though the crit didn't matter. So, the Mew's Ice Beam. What was Ice Beam? Soft Boiled. Defog, I assume. So he gets a T spike, which helps with his Tangles and Gren. It helps with Gren especially, but th this can defog them away. And this is kind of running low on recovery. He switches on the Sap. But if he defogs, he gets rid of the rocks on Ricardo's side. So that also helps Ricardo. And the Disable, I can go for recover here. Mew just Ice Beams. Oh my lord, this guy really just, he's just gonna recover, right? I mean, knocked off, well, so he's forced to recover on this turn, then we went for softballed, and pretty sure Ricardo has the game, unless he gets flinched with the better grin. Look what he said, say in your battle. Okay, I'm not gonna read this out. But yeah, Fega does absolutely nothing, Tita gets another kill, and he might even save the Tita here after killing the Coco with Earthquake. He might even save the Tita and switch, but there's no point. There's no point. He dies to rocks. So he can sack this and he comes in with like Ladios and clicks any move that is 100% accurate, like Psy Shock, if he has that and just wins the game from there. Um, oh, actually, Psy Shock, Psy Shock doesn't Oko. Hmm. Yeah, but he can like Psy Shock into Giga Drain. If his Volcarona has max speed, like some most of the medis run element, like not most of the medis, but some of the medis run element, to, like break better, back, break better through feather course. I can see him. Okay, switch into packs. So he might knock off again, trying to get rid of an item in case Bushdo switches. But it was you could have uh, like Bushdo could have stayed in. Like it was just like a weird situation. Oh, he gets a crit. But yeah, Ricardo making the play there of going for that, and he can go into Cleffy because this is locked in the dark pools. Um, this is Specs, right? Oh, what happened in this game here? So he killed it with a fake out. And Volcarona. Oh man, he should. Yeah, he, they said he should defog first. If he had Zemo and Volcarona, he definitely should have defogged first and then killed it with Zemo. He said, oops. Um, yeah. Mention was jolly, it seems, and one of speed type was Volk. So he has to hit a Draco here. So he can still lose this. Because I'm pretty sure that Gastron would die to high jump kick. And Steeler would also die to T punch. Slash HJK. Um. Oh well. Comes down to Draco hitting here. And in this other game, he switches into Clef, knowing that this is locked in Dark Pulse. 
And they did a ton, good lord. So he's gonna protect our wish. Wish is the better play, I agree. Um, but if the Gwen just stayed in and got the flinch there, it would have been probably over. But it's highly unlikely. So he gets the heal, beloved. Sable gets rid of the burn. Pex gets rid of the burn. So it's looking pretty good. He's gonna protect our. Going to Pex. Nah, he can go Sableye here because the Mew basically can't burn the Sableye anymore. Look, he still didn't click the button. Just click it already. He said GG. Mm. And he hits the Draco and the Minijam goes down to a crit. I don't think the crit mattered. I can run the Kalk really quick. Uh, Luddy. Choice Scarf, I assume. Just gonna put Choice Scarf. And the Kalk and Medicham. And yeah, Draco is a roll. Whew. So if he didn't get the roll, I guess he could have still lost. Because there's only other months. <coughs> this would have died to HJK and this. Um, the Teratic Terrain would have probably ended after he sacked, lost the Lari and the Gas Run if he lost them. And then he could have also protected to end the terrain. So might have come down to Rory Gadal getting a 50 50 between. Uh, T punching this between high jump kick because if you high jump kick and protect, he obviously would have lost. But yeah, 1 0 victory for Toxin. I think he's 1 1 now. He lost with Aureus the other day, one or two days ago. I think two days ago. And I, I don't know if Orvigal played early. I'll gotta check the thread later. You, um, I thought that I didn't think he was in World Cup, but I, I forgot. But yeah, the Sable can go for Recover here on the Mules. It's looking better for Ricardo now. At one point it was a little bit scary. When the Granger got the crit, it was a little bit scary. I can understand Protect, you just get rid of, get rid of the BP. You see that it locks into Hydro Bomb, so you get free switch in the packs. And yeah, you couldn't owe that out so much. So you can crit here actually, wow. Uh, do you just like the Duggy here, or do you risk the crit? Oh, Gondra is playing too. What the fuck? Stop spamming games. Gondra is playing. Yeah, he's like the doggy. I agree with that play, not risking the crit. I think Gondra is too old so far. I recorded his first game versus Mobali, aka Surgic. Uh, he's playing for Latin America, and we got the meat with Mantis open. He has rain with Mega Manectric, which is really weird. Um, you could see he's being Specs Pelipper. He already showed Hurricane. Let's just see what happened. Like I will just rewatch the watch the Ricardo game to the end. Um, because five of them just playing safe, not risking any crits. Understandable. Gets frozen on his Sableye, which sucks. But he has the heal below in the cliff, so it's not the end of the world. Just gonna go for the heal bug, a bit of the status moves. Um, back into packs we go. Oh, Sableye, okay. Yeah, hey, okay, if this doesn't have like Sludge Bomb or something to poison the Sableye, this is a fine player. And. Yeah, Rewatch what happened here. So that I would uh, chomp her as soon as the spec spell, but we will see the damage soon because it went for Hurricane in the first five turns, I think. Hard Lander is on a Z move. Is it kind of a crush or is it. Oh, it's Devastating Dre. Yeah, I've seen that Zemo effect like, so often in World Cup, but I just wanted to see something new, that's why I said that. Um, I guess the leftovers Landers. So defensive Lander took 50 from everything Drake. Gets in the Pelipper on the rocks. Hurricane is gonna do a ton to this AV tank. I think it's AV tank. This 84, so yeah, it's definitely AV to be able to lift that. So let's back. There's 24, so it could be. Uh, there's definitely like a book here, try nice soon. The leftovers kind of confirm that. Goes out into Greninja. As Morwell can probably live any one hit. So he's just gonna recover with a sap. Oh, he, he did Wisp first. Oh, he, he said it. He said GG. I think it's over. I think Ricardo won. Dark Bolts back into Cold Fable, knowing this is locked into Dark Bolts. Yep. I mean, this was kind of close, but 
Yeah, I actually kind of like this game. In those stores disgusting as fuck, but Ricardo picking up the win for Team or Europe and like Europe is unstoppable. But, like Oblivion's game Ellie was fired too. Uh, yeah, Bush was playing for Canada. I think he just got subbed in and this was his only game he was playing this round. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure Grant can't Oko the Mauler from full unless he gets like a super high roll. Um, but the Tangros is low, so it's not like he has a good switch in, so yeah, yeah, yeah he's gonna stay in a Z-move. Hydro Vortex, okay, Z-move can kill, that's a different story. And he gets his Ash form off. Man, this is some fire, Gondra's using some flames. Spec spell up a Z-move. Greninja, who's man's? Straight fire, and my computer, this is so fire that my computer just lagged. Let me close my calculator, I guess. Yeah, it's because I still have my Photoshop open in the back that it might like every few minutes. Because I was wanted to start making a thumbnail, but you know, when I wanted to start, there was already another game, so... They don't, don't give you any time to breathe, they just say, whew. Game, 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 Sunday, Sunday, we just play games every day, all day. So does this show rocks? Um... Most of them run fist death, but since this grin is not specs, it's probably gonna barely, might barely be able to live a pump. Um, we can come run the call real quick because I'm really interested in how much they will do to the fist death clef. Um, so we just gotta get rid of the specs to see the correct call because it was the and then it does uh, 55 to 66, so yeah, it doesn't kill. So we're gonna see if this had flamethrower, this can have flamethrower, so this is why he won't go into Feral Thorn here. This is a tough turn for Gondra. Um but I think the opponent is still thinking Gondra already made this play. Um this grin is nice to keep, so he's definitely switching. Okay, the Landris. I assume we're gonna see Moonblast slash Ooh, that boy doubled in a heat trend predicting I think he predicted the Feral Thorn, but I don't think Gondra was ever going Feral Thorn because some so Fable carry flamethrower, like he was never going Pharos on there, what? Um, I assume this trend is gonna be slower than the Landros because it ate up the specs that we can pretty easy, so I guess I'm gonna call it. Uh, oh, use the death trend with Pelipa. Uh, Hurricane makes a special attack. Um, just bags. Yeah, this 20, 23 to this 220 speed death trend. And it did um, 24. So this trend probably um, has a little bit less speed death. Like it probably has like maybe 180 in speed death. Because it does then 20 to 24. And yeah, you get like. Yeah, you got a 24 over. Yeah, so maybe it's like 140, 160 speed death, something like that. <clears throat> Don't know the exact spread. Yeah, he's probably running some speed creep for... For what? <clears throat> Can't really think of anything at the moment. Because on Chiren, like, I usually run, like to run either a lot of speed... Or just a little bit, but it seems like he's running like a mid ground of that. Like a, he's running like a little bit more than a little bit, but he's also not running super much speed. If you know what I'm trying to say, it was kind of confusing. <clears throat> but yeah, Clef can come in and soft bolt. It's fist dev and eats that up. I mean, I just want to make sure I'm 100% like 90% sure there's a fist of Clef. <clears throat> but I back it up with a Kalk, right? Since I didn't sleep much, I don't want to say anything wrong. Yeah, it's 32 to 39 to <coughs> Fist Death Clef. It's 39, so either got Max World does, or does, does have. Maybe it has some EVs in Speed Death. Um, is there another game going on? Only Gen 1. Okay, okay, nice. So we can focus on this game. <coughs> this recording is already one hour almost. So he goes going to Pelba breaking the softball. And if he's pump, I think I would just click Hydro Pump. Because he doesn't have switch-ins. As long as you connect, you know you're gonna get a kill. Probably gonna be able 
Maybe it's gonna have to say something, not gonna be able to, gonna have to say something is what I meant to say. Um, from full club, my liver pump. Would be actually interesting to run that Kalk. Uh, I don't know where, this is annoying. This doesn't have specs built by the Kalk, obviously. Um, choice. Not bad, specs. Um, Scalder 65 to 77, so I assume Pump would do like 85 to Clef. Served it a good chunk. I don't know why, it, yes, Scald was only on there because it was a defensive pillar, but I obviously don't run that. Um, actually, some run Scald and Specs even, I think, but Surf makes a bit more sense for power. I mean, it's definitely Specs. I mean, that little ton. So, this good ninja. I think the Gacham showed the Z-move earlier, so again, I'm gonna have to say another game where I'm gonna have to say, I assume it's gonna be Scarf Grin. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm wrong, it's Ash Greninja, what? Why? Why do people not like to use Scarf Pokemon, like what? Garchomp was fucking Z-move, right? No, I didn't mean to say that word, but Garchomp... Oh, never mind. Uh, what? Was the Devastating Drake not in this game? No, it, it did use Z-Move, it did use Devastating Drake. So his team doesn't have a choice Scarf user, interesting, okay. I mean, uh, <coughs> I guess he relies on his bulky core, that's, that's fine. And then he has Water Shuriken and Sucker Punch Pryo. Like bulky core in these three months. And yeah, <laughs> I sound kind of triggered there, right? Didn't I sound triggered? It's fine, like, obviously some teams can work without a choice Scarf user, I'm just big fan of having one and what did we miss by the way after the after the Pelipper went for the attack oh he brought us the Ferrothorn after he served the the thingy and Dark Puss did a good chunk and then he did, probably doesn't go for Leech he did go for Leech even though there was a Tangled and a Clefable that are both immune to it but I mean it's understandable in case he went heat run so he gets up a spikes but I think that's still fine for Gondor because going tank was first, it didn't give him leeches but it gave him leftovers and switching out giving him another round of leftovers. Um, this eats it up decently well because the trend is like more bulky orientated. I don't even know if this has any special attack, maybe a little bit. But yeah, I assume he's gonna click Hydro. And that does completely zero. Because this is um, Z move Grand, not Specs, and this is AV tank. And it just said, nope, you're not doing any damage to me. Tangus was the correct play there every day of the week, because even if this goes for Dark Pulse, which would eventually do it, potentially do it KO. Actually, that wouldn't be maybe even a 50-50 if he went for Dark Pulse. Between the next turn after, if he would go to Clef on the next Dark Pulse, and, or if Conrad would want a Hydro Pump. Um, but yeah, if this was in Hydro Pump range, after Dark Pulse anyway, I think he would have, would have to sack either this or... And yeah, either this or yeah, probably this. No, I'm not sure which one is more important. Nah, it's hard to say, man. Like, but that's what he's sick other than Tangles because everything else is healthier. I don't know, man. Just please don't start any new games, man. I just want to make a thumbnail and eat something. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna take my time and eat something for sure. Uh, after this one, but um, yeah, making a something. If I was, it would be able to make a something on top of that. That would be really nice. Mm. Um, this upload is at 66 percent. Okay, okay. The so yeah, earthquaking is fine because the tangles is kind of low, so earthquaking a U-turn wouldn't kill it, but like, it would be fine. He actually, the, going tangles there would have been a bit annoying for Gondra, but he probably would have U-turned, and then ha he would have to predict. If he predicts knockoff, he would go Manectric. If he predicts uh, Giga Journey, he would go Ladi or uh, Ferrothorn. Try to pivot from there, but not probably Ladi because if you go Ferrothorn. You don't want to lose the lefties on the Feral Zone because there's an Ash Grin on the other side that uh, a Battle Bond Grin that is trying to get its Battle Bond. You obviously want to try to prevent that. But yeah, Clefable 
beats this one on one, so I'm not sure if I would stay in here with the Lando. I mean, he's getting some lefties back, but Mubaz still has a good chunk. Like, even if the Clefable spams softball for a few turns, he doesn't get enough leftovers back to heal the entire damage that the Mubaz did. I haven't really been paying to this attention. I haven't been really paying attention to this mock just yet Whew, in a minute. But yeah, that's that's fine. I don't have to do that. You guys can read the chat if you wanna. Like, I mean, that's another reason why I think it's fine if I record some of the games when I'm super tired. Like even if I mess up one narration, um, yeah, you guys still have a game to watch and you still have the smock to chat. But most narrations, considering I'm super tired, I don't think they're that bad. But I know I obviously made mistakes here and there, and I talked about this uh, another time already. But yeah, he gets rid of the assault with the knockoff, which is really nice for his Ashgren. The thing is, his Ashgren is low, so I guess it's not really coming in on anything, uh, unless he gets it in with Vault Switch from Manectric or U-Turn from Landris on a free switch, or after he sex or something. I assume he's gonna go for knockoff with the tank here. He doubles in the heat run. I think he put it to the Lari slash Manectric. So he was willing to um, let this get knocked off. Okay. Um, it's understandable because um, it's a good play in the sense that his opponent doesn't have hazard control and stacking up all these spikes is like fine. So he brings in the heat run on the, uh, the Lari on the Magma Storm on the heat run. What am I saying? Not he brings in the heat run, he brings in the Lari on the heat run. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, all this Pokemon are named after songs, I think, and that's actually the zero. I assume that's Scarf damage, like I thought. Because yeah, he has uh, speed control on his team, and he has Water Shocking and a Scarf on the other team. Seems to only have double priority and then rely on the bulky core, like I said earlier. And this video is already 67 minutes. Uh, would be <laughs> really. Appreciate it if this <laughs> uh, would not take too long, but I mean the hazards are speeding up the game. I think Gondra is gonna take this one. He's doing pretty well. Like if he wins, this is gonna be 3-0. Yeah, I think his team can definitely need that, like another win. I, uh, I don't know how well Latin America is doing. I think Porsche also won this game. It's kind of close, but uh, I didn't see it live. I just skipped through the turns. I just saw the end. Because it was black white, and um, like I said, my focus is on the Sun and Moon OU games. And yeah, also, by the way, um, the other day I did record one game between like Greece and I forgot the other country, and that one specifically had like eh, had like an eh narration, in my opinion. So, if you guys still want to see that, let me know if you want to see as many po content as possible, or if you should just not upload and just say, um. Focus a bit more that the narration are uh, better and instead of uploading every game. But the thing is I'm trying to do both. Like it's kinda hard for me to not like record as many games as possible when I have the time on weekend especially. Like it's Sunday, you know I can grind this through and um, I assume it's just some random ladder game. I don't think I'm gonna click on it. I'm just gonna see if someone of the known tool players clicks on it. He goes hard grin on the side shock. Um, I, I haven't been talking about the game for a while, but you guys can see what's going on. I don't have to talk every turn, right? I don't have to mention like every single play. So Scarfladi dies to rocks basically, but he keeps it as fodder. So so he goes for spec spikes probably. And I assume he's gonna get up another layer. A Gondor can either decide if he wants to kill this now and then both players would have two layers of spikes on each side. Or if he gets up his third layer, the Gwen would also get up the third layer. So he can basically decide does he want two two layers or three three layers. Um I think Gondra's um wants all three layers because 
they hit like these three Pokemon and Gondor's team. It only hits and it also hits these three now mind. But overall Gondra is still in a better position. Two spiders plus rocks should kill the Grin anyway on Gondra's side. And I mean Gondra still has probably default on his Scarf Lottie if he really wants to, but never mind he can't default. He's at eight percent so he does two rocks. Yeah, never mind. But yeah, so we're gonna be playing this game with uh, hazards on both sides. Which is cool, because then you know it can't take that long, so he decides to just pick off the spec screen. Yeah. I am a big fan of that set, spec spikes, I love that set. Um Like you have a few options in that slot you can run. Like Water Shuriken, Hydro Pump, Dark Pulse is obviously set on that set. Set in stone basically, and you can run um depending on your team you can run ice beam, extra sensory or spikes. And yeah, you can you can run sometimes, but like Blunder said in one of his videos, if you want, if you predict the switch with Ash Greninja, Yutan doesn't do that much damage unless it's versus Hooper, and Hooper's not really common. So you can just double switch if you predict the switch. I mean, in some scenarios, Yutan is still safer, and I can understand why you would run it. Some somewhat, but um, I still am like, if your team is like, you want to lure and kill you for something, or like for Ash Greninja itself. I like extra sensory. If you're weak to Zygarde, I like Ice Beam. If you want Hazard Stack, run Spikes. Like I just like those options better. And yeah, the, all those Hazards put the uh, Heatron and range from an Electric T Bolt. But yeah, even if it wasn't in range, it wouldn't have been able to kill the main from a 72. And Colfable is gonna have a hard time dealing with Manectric because it's a uh, fifth death. And Tangros also can't deal with Manectric because it dies to Flamestore slash Overheat because it's gonna be at 20 something percent because it says 21 so you have to add on the Regenerator which breaks, brings it back to like 54 but then it loses um, health from Spikes and Rocks so it loses like 20 something um, if I call it the, yeah t does okay t doesn't do it Kyo Clef does 41 to 49 so Clef can come out and softball here but Clef can get parrot or crit number one and number two yeah Clef is gonna be annoying for Gondra but the thing is I don't know how many softballs he has left uh, so that's like one way that Gondra can beat the Clef yeah he goes in the Clef he has 13 left still well oh yeah so they're asking Gondra is 2 and 0 Porsche had 3 and 0 because Porsche already Porsche also counted the World Cup qualifying phase. Uh, yeah, I also recorded. I think I also recorded Gondra's World Cup qualifying phase. Yeah, he also won in there. But I was just talking about the round one. He's 2-0 in round one in there. I basically didn't count the qualifying phase because there was only two teams in it. So that's gonna softball up. Um, I think he might. He can go hard pellet by here. Yeah, if he breaks the softball. But he goes far instead. Um. I'm not sure about that play. I mean, this did not show the last move yet. Is it knockoff? No, I think he would have gone for it yet. I would have gone for it already if it was knockoff. I don't know which one it is, but I probably would have gone to specs pill up the pill up there, because it either would have gotten a kill on the Tangros, or he would have um, weakened the Clefable for. To bring in range from T bolt from electric. I think it would have gone Pelabel because the softball was so obvious there, like he was never going for Moonblast there. But I guess he was playing it safe. It's like I don't think that Ferrozone can really do much to the Clef. But Clef, depending on the last move, might also not be able to do anything to Ferro, and we're gonna sit here for a while, which is definitely not what I wanted. Or oh, is a Sam, by the way. This guy, I didn't know that. I think Analytics said it, so it has to be Sam, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out by the time I make my thumbnail and everything which guy is on which team. I mean, I know Gone was in Latin America, but I don't know his opponent's team at the moment. I haven't seen him play yet. Mm, okay, ABI yeah, said if Gone was smart, you can ris win without risking anything. So that probably, um, if you think like that, it probably was the correct play. To go Ferrothorn instead of Hard Pelipper, but like 
Like, I would have bet money on that specific turn 36 that he was going for soft bolt. Like, I don't know if I'm like missing something, but I would have been pillar put there. Oh, I'm actually kind of interested. Like, this, I just realized that he has Mega Manectric in rain, which means. I mean, I realized that earlier that he has a Manectric, but I just thought about that it weakens his fire moves if he has fire moves. I mean, if he specs pillar, but the rain is not going to be there for that long, so it makes sense. Because rain is going to go away. So I'm just thinking he still has a fire move on Manectric. Like, Manectric gets fire coverage, why would you not run it? Like, it's just solid. Like, Bolt Beam plus fire coverage is pretty solid. HPIs plus electric step plus flame thrust slash overheat. Like, I know overheat is better in some scenarios to get important kills, but... Um, it's kind of personal preference, I guess. I haven't used Manectric enough to give my opinion on if I prefer overheat or flamethrower. Um, it just seems really annoying in some matchups if you have to lower your special attack just to pick something off or like I don't know. It's, I hope I put that into words correctly or into a sentence or whatever. What is the polypus set, boy? So he goes into Manectric. Clefable can probably lift the combination of an HP Ice and a T Bolt. But I don't think Gondra should risk this. I think he should just go for HBIs. If the clef comes out, it's gonna be forced to softball again anyway. T bolt slash bolt switch. But then again, if he switches here, that's bad. If you HBIs. The yeah, blessing gun is in a little bit better position and doesn't necessarily have to predict here. So yeah, he makes a pickle field play and he just plays it safe. I mean, T-Bolt might have not 2 kill from there unless he gets super high rolls. I probably didn't even 2 kill. Yeah, he needed like a, 2 good rolls, I think. Is this the third or the fourth game in this video? Because if it's the fourth, I'm, I have no idea how I'm going to put eight names and eight flag, country flags in the thumbnail. It's going to be a pain to deal with. Six, six is already enough. Like, holy cow. Okay, it's obviously going to softball up. Uh, is he going to pull up at this time is the question. He goes on Ferris on again, so he's really not risking the pull up. Okay. And he does go for Moonblast this time, so understandable. But I think Pelipa should be able to live a Moonblast, but he could still get like a special attack drop. Like I just assume that the Pelipa doesn't have any bulk on it. Um, I'll just take that out of there. Maybe he could like four. Yeah, Moonblast actually does a, f a lot, never mind. Moonblast does a lot more. I didn't know it does that much to Pelipa. So then it's com understandable that he, doesn't, that he isn't going hard Pelipa. I thought it would only do like 35 or 40. Why is it doing so much? That doesn't make much sense to me. Getting rid of the lefties on the clef is pretty nice. I thought he already did that earlier. Or well, maybe I was mixing it up with a different game because yeah, I saw multiple multiple games with a cool fable. Um Why does Moogles do so much? This is no special attack investment to fail. Oh, the, no, the Pelipper's level 100, it's level 50. Oh, I think that's level 50. It's so weird. Pelipper only has 70 speed death and 60 HP, I guess. But still, it's doing so much. Hey, you only have power up to hit this. And I'm still curious what the last move is. Show it, man, show it. I mean, if it was useful, he would show it. So it has to be something not useful, like, I don't know, maybe T-Wave. Because T-Wave would maybe even help the Pharaoh Zone, because in the one-on-one... -on -one, if the Pharaoh Zone, like, it's T-Wave, uh, full parrot, it saves the PP. Because this one-on-one -on -one might come down to PP War, I don't know. I'm not sure if I would have softball there, because he was uh, still in a healthy mount, like, at a healthy mount. Not sure about that play.
Keep spamming softball. I guess he was fishing for a miss or something. And this is just gonna off quick. So it's basically um, making this like run out of softballs. He has seven left. So I think, yeah, yeah, what he's doing is just second the Landros here to get some damage off. And then he's gonna bring in his Pelipar and click Hurricane or Pump. I actually serve probably. You don't wanna risk a pump missing. And you just wanna bring this in range from Mega Manectric. Yeah, that makes sense. Because Mega Manectric, yeah, yeah, I think Mega Manectric wins the game. So he goes for Earthquake here. Then he goes Pelipar. Then the opponent can um, go on the guard jump. I think guard jump lifts another round of hazards. Yeah. And what you do then is maybe sick pillar of or so. No, I'm not sure if it comes down to some 50-50 at the end. But I think Gondra has it. So you. You just, if you don't want to risk pump and the Kalk is in your favor, um, you could like serve. If he loses this, Manectric just wins, so he has to switch into Tangros. He has basically what I was trying to say earlier. If I didn't, I don't know if I put it into words correct, into a sense thing. Yeah, thanks. The video is 82 minutes. I want you guys leading to stop spamming games, man. I mean, it's my choice to record these games. So it's fine. He does go and sack the Tangles, which was the correct play in my opinion. Because he needs the guard jump to revenge this Pelipper. The thing is, I think he has to save this Pelipper, right? Yeah, yeah, I think he wins. He switches out the Pelipper, which guarantees him to kill the Clefable later on. Ah, oh, actually I'm not sure if it's a guaranteed win. Um, I mean the only move that has to kill the Pelipper is Outrage. Oh god. I mean he probably even wins if he loses this year Outrage. But goes Ferrothorn, yeah. I think that was correct play. Because he was kind of forced to Outrage there. And this is obviously in the Hazard range and he can switch back out. And now Pelipper wins the game because this yeah, it's dead to has it and like Pelipper should be able to pick off the clav. Ferrothorn's arriving. No reason to go for the third spike when Clef has magic guard. Posho has Bluetooth headphones. Is that why he had like some echo? Like last time I tried to record with him there was some echo. We haven't recorded in a while. And um, that would be man. Posho in the call would have been amazing when I'm tired to like help me out. Yeah, if you're watching this Posho, um, hit me up my man. But he's probably not watching because it's uh, said 83 minutes in the video, like no. Only wild people watch the entire video. <laughs> like let's be honest. Yeah, so he's gonna click softball here because he needs this as healthy as possible, but it doesn't matter. Because he just spams power whip basically. On doesn't even matter if he misses power whip at this point. He just spams it, tries to get some chip. And if this is not in range from Pelipa, then he can go Manectric and uh, spam T Bolt. Which basically should ensure that this gets in range. It also only has a few. It also only has a few softballs left, and if it keeps click if it keeps clicking softball, Ferrothorn's gonna get more lefties. So yeah, he's gonna start attacking now. But yeah, Moonbus only does a little bit more than Moonbus only does a little bit more than left over seal, and he shows us that this T with, which is what I was expecting earlier, because he didn't show his last move versus Ferrothorn and knockoff or flamethrower would both be really useful knockoff flamethrower comment I think both would have been useful before but T-Wave wasn't really useful I mean he dodges but it doesn't matter like it doesn't matter at all yeah like ABR says here 
because um, T-Bolt from Electric brings this into um, Pelipper range. I can show you guys the calc. Um, let's say Specs, Pelipper and Rain. Um, he had Surf, right? I just want to know. He has to bring this into Surf range so he doesn't have to risk a miss. Um, make special attack. Choice Specs. 73 to 86 so yeah after he sacks off his uh, ferrothorn which actually ferrothorn is doing so much damage to this and he gets a crit there on top of that why not help Pelipa there um, I guess it doesn't matter yeah like no reason to make that play um yeah Pelipa will clean this up um, that's cool, can I put a pull up on the summon, cool mon. Actually, I'm not gonna put any mons for this in the summon. Is this gonna be s um, three or four games in this video? I don't remember. It was the Ricardo game. Then was this game. I think there was two more games, so I think it was four vi four games in one video. Oh my lord, the title is gonna be so long. I might not even be able to, s to write every game in a title. Because YouTube only allows so many letters in the title. Dude, can you like quit finish? Because I still have to name this video that is going up in 60 minutes. I haven't named it yet. Like, I haven't made a thumbnail for like three or four videos that I've recorded, but maybe even for five. But yeah, this is pretty. Um, yeah, this, this team was kind of cool. High robotics couldn't just interesting. Personally, not the biggest fan of it, but in that scenario, it could have went Oko the more, but it was pretty clutch. Like. That was icy. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was spicy. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. Yeah, only has one softball left. He basically knows it's over. <laughs> so I guess he's trying to bring this into Moonblast range before he wants to use his last softball. But nah, the lefties are gonna bring him out of range. No, Galaxy Ogonda doesn't win exactly, my man. He picks it off, and Pelipper is gonna click Surf here and pick up the win. If he clicks Hydro Pump and risks it, he's insane. <laughs> he clicks Surf, and there we go, GG. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Really long video, and I need a break now. And. Uh, leave a like if you appreciate uh, the content. I mean, if you watched until the end, you probably liked this video. Or are you just a fan of reading the smock to chat? Or just in general of watching competitive tournament games? And yeah, you already know a lot of my... A lot more is gonna be coming. So yeah, that sentence made no sense, but... Classic dog which have to mess up the outro. And yeah, peace out, friends. See you next time. Goodbye.